Good morning. This is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. Uh, we are back out here at 2511 North Commonwealth Avenue in Los Feliz. And we are uh, here to perform a video examination of that portion of the main sewer line we were able to, unable to access. Uh, we were out here prior. We were out here on the 13th and uh, encountered a blockage out under the sidewalk and weren't able to push through. So the uh, line has apparently been hydro jetted. So we're here to uh, form that follow up. We'll just get back out to that area. and get out to that vitrified clay. that blockage. As you can see it's been cleared. That line is now draining. Now these clay pipe materials they are very common for main sewer line systems especially the piping under the street which we refer to as the lateral pipe. This type of piping does have a long service life expectancy being a natural material it is not expected to deteriorate underground but it is more brittle in nature and does have a higher potential for damage during seismic activity or earthquakes. And what we're looking for are any uh, significant cracks or breaks, significant offsets or separations of the connections or joints, anything that would be considered a compromise to the integrity of the line. Now we're seeing some remnant roots left, some that were fairly large in diameter, like this one here. That's not all that uncommon. Looks like this area may be starting to chip away along the top of the pipe. And then up here we actually have, we have a pipe that's starting to break. What this is, is uh, it's a hole that was in the top of the pipe. Uh, commonly this was a situation where they wrapped that hole or wrapped the pipe with a sheet metal type of wrapping uh, rather than actually replacing the section. It was a common practice back around the time this property was developed, but it's not considered a proper repair anymore. And uh, eventually that sheet metal rusts away, and you can see it's starting to allow root and soil intrusion, so that area has definitely been compromised and would need to be repaired. You can see it's starting to actually crack and break the pipe some. Take a couple of pictures of that. There may be a couple of different options for repair of this area, some less intrusive than others, but uh, you definitely want to discuss that with the uh, sewer contractor chosen to perform the repairs. As we get beyond there, it's basically doing okay now. Looks like they may have lightened up their jetting once they got past that point. some more cracking and damage here just before our public connection. So there's a couple of areas here. Um, I'm going to uh, make a suggestion here that a uh, lighting system might be a good idea. Uh, so far what I've seen it does appear to be a candidate for such a rehabilitation method. Um, it may be more cost effective than actually excavation or replacement of these pipe sections. So uh, we really want to discuss that with a qualified and reputable sewer contractor. So that's the public sewer there about 80 feet from our access. So at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and wrap up or conclude the video portion of this follow-up examination. And I'll be issuing a follow-up written report with the uh, repair renditions. This is Mark Harrison of Sewer Line Check Professionals. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant day.